Hey, listen, I don't care who you are. America runs on Duncan, my boy. None of that gay ass star. Um, so we rolling into the next video. Today, whoo, today, bruh, really can't believe it. So I actually planning on, you know, I saw something on Facebook Marketplace and it literally just popped up this morning and I had to jump on that shit. I'm trying to think of a, of a funny analogy that isn't gonna get me canceled or get this video flagged. I'm pretty sure the Starbucks thing already did it, but. So yeah, I jumped on that shit immediately. As soon as I saw it, like I clicked on it and it literally said posted seven hours ago. I was like, oh shit, I need that. So this is actually a car that I've been wanting since I was a baby, since I was a child, since I was in high school, since I pretty much learned that a car is never gonna break your heart the way a female does. So, I was like, yo, I need that shit. And it was, the everything looks good, pictures wise, sounds good. It's uh, not too far from me. It's about pretty much 50 minutes to an hour drive from where I live. So, it's pretty good. Um, uh, I'm like, damn, I gotta do it. Uh, I might pull the trigger on it today. Uh, hopefully, if everything, you know, God willing, everything goes good. Um, I'll be out there today, go check it out, test drive it, uh, negotiate a little bit, and uh, bring, the, bring the baby on home. And show you guys pretty much my new car and a new car to the channel and, you know, now, obviously, because of my plans right now and financial and all that shit, I'm not about to sit here and fucking modify the shit if I get this car, if it all works out well. I'm not planning on fucking modifying the shit out of it soon. No. Um, now, making sure that mechanically everything works and nut doesn't fail, you know, make sure the brakes are good suspension you know battery any type of oil changes transmission changes you know all the fluids you know every making sure just everything works out smooth like it could get me from a to b with no issues no problems um then i'll sit there and worry about making sure that everything else is good you know body it looked like it had like a little dents and a little bit of rust but that's that's nothing that can't get you know fixed up i'm pretty sure i could find somebody to do a pretty good job for the low um, knock it out one two and then in terms of just cleaning it up and detailing and doing any type of simple minor modifications um, I could just keep in mind of like I could just do a whole fucking full-blown sleeper build um, I could just keep the car looking pretty fucking stock and just clean as shit but the bitch ends up pushing power I could go that route or I could just do like what everybody else does um, but I don't really, I, I don't think I would. I think I would just try to keep it as, you know, as basic as stock-ish looking for long. So just OEM plus. So anything to keep it OEM looking and then plus because the lesson I learned with my focus is that, you know, I should have kept it OEM plus. I went a little crazy. I went, I went balls out type shit. Um, pretty, I mean, I did what I wanted to do. And whatever I had my mind set on, I was able to accomplish it and get it done. But the fact that it was only my vision, it, you know, only things that I wanted, I see, you know, it took a while to get rid of the car, to sell it, to be able to find a, a you know, at least a decent amount of money to be bought for. But with this one, you know, I think you guys are gonna like it. I'm gonna fucking love it. I'm gonna have a ball in it. Um, and it's gonna be dope. So just like I said, God willing, everything goes good today. Pull the trigger. I'll bring her home today. Um, it's gonna be good weather this weekend. So, all right, this person's retarded. Uh, it's gonna be good weather this weekend. So I'll be able to like really give it its first good wash. Uh, probably link up with the homie or two. And you know, before I even drop it on, I'm not even gonna post it on social media or anything. I'm not gonna, nobody's really gonna know. And I'm probably definitely gonna have to get a fucking, um, like an at-home boot. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to get an at-home boot for this shit because I don't need nobody rolling down my block and trying to take this shit from me, so. 
But yeah, so I'll go ahead and tap in when um, either I'm on my way to the car, I'm looking at the car, or I'm bringing the car home. So, catch y'all. You see that? I'm gonna let y'all take a couple seconds to guess what I got. You give up yet? You got it? You think? Boy, I am in a fucking Civic, son. Yes, it is automatic. Don't talk no shit. It's a coupe. Full interior still. That shit was on it. But I see why the fucking OEM steering wheel was shot. I got me 97 with almost 230 on the dash. Everything is still original. So, oh. bruh, 97 Honda Civic DX. So, yeah, hood latches messed up. There's no front emblem. They got low, little spot there. Got some little dents, scrapes. Yes, yeah, right there. That's cracked. Not the low spot right there, but that's nothing though. This car, I wanted the EX model, not the DX, but Civic. I always wanted one since high school. Look at this shit, bro. Can you believe it? I still can't believe, like, this is in my yard. This is in my driveway. That's crazy. Who would have guessed it, right? Mello gets a Civic. I'm officially a Honda boy. crazy but I'm gonna have fun I definitely got to get some uh some like wheel locks or something boots um definitely got to get keyless entry alarm all that shit so that my bitch don't get stolen <laughs> this shit is clean as fuck though yo like for the price for everything like i don't care what nobody says shit was a steal so stay tuned bro went from a focus to a civic went from a dual overhead cam for a banger to a single and i went like 20 years into the past <laughs> it's just gonna be dope though a few days later you ready for the nostalgicness of this car? 25 years, bone stock, nothing to it. Hot as hell out here. Need a serious wash. Um, about to go link with the homie. Um, probably take a flick, a couple flicks. Still, nobody knows what I got yet. Oof, it is high here. Take this, just in case I get pulled over. Cause your boy is riding with no registration right now, at the moment. Um, but it is insured, I got my insurance. You see that, look at that. I gotta pre-roll the windows down just to get the heat off off this bitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm riding. But it is insured, I got all the paperwork on me. Had to deal with a massive headache at DMV all day. Um, 
Friday. Part of me don't even want to talk about it. I really don't. But finally posted on IG. Um, you know, now all of my Instagram knows I don't have my focus no more. They don't know what I got right now, except for uh, one of my homies. He knows, and the one I'm about to link with with right now. He's about to find out. Let's see what I got now. I thought I had to do my little security measure first, cause uh, you know, don't need nobody stealing my shit. Damn, that nostalgicness. I do. I always miss the turnkey. <laughs> So, no way. Y'all see that? Hmm. Got the check engine light on. Damn, homie. And my shit low key smoking up in the back, too. Ah. Uh, Shit. Mm. Damn. That's no good. I'm gonna let that shit idle out though. It's been a couple days since I started it and shit. But now I'm gonna have to run. If I'm smelling it, it smells like oil. Mm. Could be gas, could be oil. I don't know which one. It's been a couple days since I started it, though. And I'm gonna be real. None of this shit happened when I test drove it. And when I started it up and shit. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's white smoke. It's not blue. Could be coolant related, maybe. That's why our check engine light came on though. But I'm gonna let it just run down. So I ordered, I ordered a little classic piece, thinking that I'm probably just gonna have to replace this whole assembly. But damn. Mm. That's crazy. Nothing don't sound out of the ordinary though. Wouldn't be surprised if I need to do a full blown tune up. And probably replace a fucking gasket or some shit. Seriously would not be fucking surprised. But hey, it's what happens. Let me see if the fucking AC works. Let's see. Ice cold. AC probably needs to get recharged. White smoke is going down. It's not as crazy coming out. I'm trying to get a smell for it. Mm. Like it's not. It's not crazy coming out. So 
so that no AC, this shit don't work at all. Damn, I check engine light. Ah, uh, man, there's like a couple things I could do right now. I could run to the auto zone and use their cold reader and shit. <clears throat> Find out what's up. Cause nothing sounds out of the ordinary and it's just mad random how that shit just started oh man that shit got me stupid worried i don't need this shit breaking on me you know what i'm saying Oof. so i don't know i'm about to think on it and shit mm. Valve cover gasket, spark plugs. I'm not fucking surprised that there's a misfire. I had a feeling I was gonna need to do a tune up anyway. So, I'm not surprised by any of that. I did see the orange RTV coming out the side. Like, it looked like some hack ass job. So, that's look like it's gonna, that's gonna be fun to deal with. So, and then all this other shit, I'm just gonna have to look into, but not too bad. So, I'm still going to link up with my boy. And um, then I'm just going to have to pick whatever day this week. I feel like uh, doing all of this shit. And then do it once, do it right, call it a day. Fast and the Furious ish because of my car. I'm fucking three years uh, late on actually having the uh, the high Civic style. Look at this shit though. My boy shit is clean, son. Ain't nobody fucking with it. Ain't nobody fucking with it. Ain't carving favor, fuck it. Sorry about that. So, did you see me pulling up with this shit or no? You didn't see this shit coming, huh? Like you could that. Yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I wish my car had this. I don't. I can't wait to. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna source out some EK doors. I mean, uh, some EX doors. Hell no. I want power windows, motherfucker. That shit gonna get annoying. Plus, you gonna add weight to the car. I'm gonna go fucking this five pounds. I can make that up somewhere else. I have no idea what happened. It's a memory card here. Um, but I'm just gonna repair it, um, replace it, make sure it's done right, take my time with it 100%, make sure I know everything that I'm doing. Um, and then I'm also gonna change out all the spark plugs. Um, the wire set looks fairly new. So, I mean, I don't know. I think I'll just replace it just for the sake of replacing it. Um, but I'll I'll keep this wire set on hand, probably sell it, I guess. I don't know, make some type of money. Whatever. But I'll go ahead and get that done. Make sure I acquire all the parts, make sure I acquire all the information that I need to start learning about this engine and this platform so that I don't mess anything up and I can get the job done hundred percent. But it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty simple, easy. I say it should take me about a day not even half a day's work so but i'm gonna need it in order for me to go to school and go make money and shit so but yeah and i am gonna end up needing to buy the whole um new um hood latch cable i bought just a repair kit the little aluminum block where you pull the tab but um i'm gonna need the whole i think i'm gonna need the whole new thing so that's gonna have to get bought next but definitely deal with this issue first um then i still noticed that my fuel gauge it like floats like it'll dip randomly i started looking into that i guess it has to do with acceleration and when you turn hard i guess so then i'll have to look into the fuel sending unit next but um i might just deal with that for a little while um 
I don't know if I'm gonna really care all too much about it. That's the top piece to my AirPod case. That's cool. Cause I do wanna get this car prepped for the winter. So I need to cover up all the rust spots um, and make sure that the car is 100% set for the come the winter time. Um, unless I could get me, I could land me a nice, uh, simple daily um, for then and just make sure this car just, you know, chills, relaxes, get a car cover for it for the outside. Um, that'll be a nice bet. Um, so I'll probably look into by the end of the summer, hopefully making money, everything goes good with business. I'll look into maybe like a pickup truck or some shit, some daily, you know, something to get me from A to B all the way around and I could just leave this car as is. So, yeah, that's it. I realized I didn't give a good proper outro. So, here it is now. Stay tuned for me pretty much fixing that, getting that back up and ready. And, um, yeah, little by little, I mean, what to expect with a 25-year-old car, you know? And the maintenance history on it is shaky. You don't, I don't really know everything, everything. So I would just be fixing a whole lot of things. Just a whole, a whole bunch of little shit that my OCD, because I want a clean car, a clean sleeper. So my OCD is there, but we're going to get there. So, all right, guys, stay tuned to the next one.